what's up so it's been a while since I've uploaded a video mostly just because there hasn't been many games that have caught my attention um, I've been playing a lot of the free games that uh, the Epic Game Store have been what putting out free on specials so Borderlands 2 but I don't know if you guys really want reviews of games that are technically old um, and also just in terms of doing tech uh, talk things like uh, buying guide it hasn't really been feasible because you know uh, because of lockdown we haven't had uh, great prices um, and just the availability and the choices that we have are very low um, so I decided to you know what the hell do a lockdown edition of my take a lot PC buying guide so I'm gonna do this a bit differently from the normal buying guide I do usually with the normal buying guide uh, for those of you that have watched before I have three different uh, budgets and then I'll do for each budget but I think because of the scarcity of parts and the, the choices it's not really feasible because I'm gonna tell you to uh, this part is good but then as soon as lockdown is over there's going to be a new import of newer parts and it just made the part that you just bought you know uh, unnecessary so I'm going to do a 15,000 Rand build so if you're really desperate for a computer um, then you can follow this guide and I'll actually do this guide with you guys. So I'll go through um, what parts I would choose. Um, mostly I choose based on uh, what I want to do with the computer, what the intention is. So in the normal, if you've watched the normal guides, I make them kind of all round systems. So you can do your work, you can do, uh, I mean, you can do like artwork and also I guess school work and university work whatever stage of life you're at um, uh, make sure it has enough memory to handle basic Photoshop and in my case Krita um, and then I uh, just make sure it has a decent enough GPU now obviously if you're gonna focus on gaming it's generally a good uh, idea and good way to think to have half of your budget dedicated to your graphics card and have minimum 16 gigs of memory that's kind of what you're looking for for most games um, yeah and a quad core CPU does well too um, just yeah um, so yeah let's hop into it so I don't I'm gonna try and keep this as short as possible and skim through the components because there's still quite a few but let's let's see how it goes all right so I uh, hope I've got all the tabs for the different components open so I really started looking through the motherboards and um, usually I look for the B450s initially because um, it just always turns out that if you're looking at CPUs the Ryzen 2nd gen generally is on special um, because at least the you know the Ryzen third gen is out now, and then the Ryzen fourth gen is on the horizon, so it makes sense to you know go for the budget systems, um, especially when you're building budget systems. But in this case, um, there's not really much in terms of the B four fifties. There was this ASUS. Um, if I go back one page, there was one part two. So the AMD Aurora, uh, Aurora's Elite um, B450, which this is actually the motherboard I use in my system. So um, I think I'll actually just go with this. I was going to go with the X570, but we'll go with this and then see what our budget has after, you know, after we, because I've got it to do a subtraction thing, so I don't know how much we have left. Okay, so let's go with 
this as our motherboard. So the order that you choose your components is up to you. I mean, uh, I think it's all about what you prioritize. Um, so just make sure that everything is compatible. Uh, I think CPU is probably actually the best thing to look at first. Because um, then you, you can start looking at saving your money elsewhere. Okay, so that was two, three, fourteen. Uh, okay. So let's go to the CPUs. Alright, so as I had said, is this is not much and um, frankly I think I'll be a AMD fan for forever. Um, so yeah, there's not much here, which is quite sad, but this is why I was saying I haven't made any new content. So, um, I'm going to build this system as an all-round system. Um, when we get to the memory, I'll tell you, uh, with the memory and the graphics card, I'll tell you where you can, you know, diverge um, and maybe choose higher memory and save on the graphics card or whatever so I mean they got the Ryzen 3600X um, we'll have to do a BIOS update on the board so this is a 6 core 3.8 gigahertz and they also got the Ryzen 3 3200 4 core and they don't actually clock speed but will be above 3 gigahertz that's fine um, see it's just it, it is like I think a bit of a drought for content that resolves around tech I mean obviously Linus and all the main tech tubers can continue and especially if they're in a region that's not being held uh, held down by a lockdown like we are so hmm. okay let's just go with this AMD Ryzen 5 3600X just because it's in between the Ryzen 3 which is a good deal but maybe it's not uh, four cores, maybe if we can just, you know, go to six cores for, what, 4,000 Rand more. I mean, we are looking at 15,000 Rand for the whole system, so we have got room to play. So we'll just go with this for now, and we'll see what happens. So as I said, I'm going to do the system to cover all bases, work, uh, graphic design, gaming. So 16 gigs of memory is kind of the minimum we're looking for and DDR4 and as high a clock speed as possible. So we're going to get some gaming memory, I don't know. Um, Thousand megahertz for for with an eight gig um, seven hundred eighty five round. I mean, could get two of those. See, it's just it's actually horrible that there's so little stuff to choose from, and especially with AMD. Um, being very much a memory uh, intensive C uh, brand CPU, you know. Um, okay, so we'll go with uh, Hopper X Fury because I think let me go to page two and let me see if there's anything more. I don't think there's anything more. Hmm. 
yeah, everything kind of, ooh, okay, good thing I checked, so we can get some RGB, and it's also 3200 megahertz, which is good, and it's 2 times 8 gigs, so it's 16 gigs total, DDR4, Corsair, which is a trusted brand, Oh, okay, I've also got this as well. See, I don't know why they don't put everything together. So... DDR4, 3000 megahertz versus 3200. 2 times 16 gigs. Wait, is this cheaper than the... Previous page than the previous one. Three four nine nine and four nine twenty. Well, that you would be saving um, and going for that, and then you're getting the RGB, which is as we all know, it makes your computer so much faster. And it even works out to be cheaper than buying two of those, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. It's just out of that. So, I think we'll go with this. The Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro, 32 gigs, because why not? Perhaps you're a uh, graphic designer in your spare time. So, that works for you, and it's 490. Okay, so, see now, this is where we're going to have to start looking at budgeting, because I've already, I've only got 1,825 Rand left to spend on the system, which is definitely not going to do well enough for a graphics card, so I think we should go back to the... See, we didn't have much in terms of CPU choices. We did have quite a bit in terms of motherboard choices, and we kind of went with the most budget already. So we would have to go with a different memory kit. So let's go back. I did think that that was like too good to be true for this, uh, for a 15,000 Rand build. Um, obviously, if you've got more room to spare, go for it but also at the same time if your system is just for gaming then it's unnecessary so think about what the purpose of your system is and build your budget around that um, actually I'll do I'll look at the graphics cards first and then we'll come back and see where we can change okay A GTX 1650 is kind of the minimum that we're looking at. Mm, yeah, I see there. But even then, 1660. Um, I mean that the RTX 2080 Super is overall the entire budget for this system. very tough pickings at the moment so you know what oh it's a 1650 super not that that means anything super significant but we'll go with this because 1650s generally are budget CPU uh, GPUs graphics cards that's what I run in my system you know it's not the greatest I mean ideally 1080 or 1060 or anything kind of above a 1060 is what you're looking for when uh, looking for a gaming system but if you're doing kind of partial gaming like I do um, you know you're not playing the latest games that come out then 
1650 does well enough to give you that uh, bit of pleasure. Okay, so yeah, we're going to be over 4645. Now, I've already been looking at uh, power supplies because my dad needed a new one for his computer. It's the second one that he's uh, blown up, if that's the term. So there was a choice between a 500 watt Antic and a 500 watt Raid Max that I had. I think they even, I think I kept the Antic one on my cart. Uh, there's the Raid Max and that's the Antic. So basically what you're paying here the difference you're paying for because they're both 500 what is you're paying for uh, quality and you know brand trust so like for my dad antic is fine you know he doesn't need you know his, his system's not a super expensive system overall so I mean if it caught on fire it wouldn't really matter he does need a new system anyway um, but in our case, let's go with the Raid Max Cobra 500 just because everything else is way too much. I mean, even this modular. I mean, so, we're on a budget, so, yeah. One thing I must say when you're building a computer on a budget, it's actually good to ignore your budget initially. Because if you start you know, controlling your build with your budget and you start being like, oh no, I'm not going to be able to afford that. Like, put in together the parts that you want, that you're looking for. So once you know what you want to do with your system, put together the parts, ignoring kind of the, the price of the parts. And then from there, start to budget and prioritize what you need. Um, because then, I mean, if your system works out to be 18,000, right, 3,000 Rand more than what you, if you were budgeting for 15,000, then it might be worth just trying to make up that 3,000, I don't, I don't know, maybe wait a month until you have that money and then buy it, buy a better system. Um, so in the long run, you're not going to have to worry about upgrading in the next couple of years. So you, you, you know, just you're saving money by spending more money now. Um, especially with something like a power supply, it's rather go for quality wherever you can. Um, yeah, I mean, the last thing you want is your system catching on fire. So I mean, don't be cheap when it comes to your power supply and things you need for your system don't cheap out um, like your case is one area that you can cheap out on um, so let's go cases let's see if our old reliable that we were using for the previous build is here um, we could go for something like this if you really want it um, or go for this one, or we could even go for this. Cases are a good place to kind of uh, save your money. So this is actually the case that I use. Um, I'm not actually that big a fan of the RGB. Um, Okay, so yeah, I don't really want to go for that. Let's let's go for Ray Max. You know, keep keep the brand, keep a keep supporting a single brand, even though compatibility won't matter yet. So go Ray Max Vortex because black and red are always good colors. Okay. 
it's going to be a good bit of money over. Um, so now we come to our boot drive and hard drive. So now this is where you got to kind of ask yourself some questions. Um, you could easily just have a single drive, a big SSD that functions as your boot drive and your hard drive. Um, or you could try and push for a really small boot drive, like a 120 gigabyte SSD. Um, I don't think you'll be able to get any M.2s to fit in our budget. Um, so in SATA SSD is your best bet. And then in terms of hard drives, maybe you can push for a one terabyte. Um, I've got to say that Amazon have quite good pricings when it comes to hard drives. Why do they not have hard drives as a thing? Um, no, I don't want to sign up to your newsletter. Okay, let's just open hard drives. Do they have SSDs as a separate thing? Yes, they do. Okay, so that was hard drives in general. Oh, okay, so they might actually put everything into that one. Hey! I mean, you could boot off a hard drive and it's not gonna kill you just your system will take longer to boot up um, yeah so this is kind of what we're looking at for a boot drive if we go 120 gigs um, it just makes sense as opposed to trying buying a 500 gig SSD and trying to fit everything on and anything you kind of go over that is ridiculously Fast. So we'll go for this. We'll listen, digital green, 120 gig. Uh, and 6.25. Same price as our case. See, your your boot drive is also something that you can save a bit of money on, because if it's just supposed to hold your operating system um, and maybe a few other programs that you use on a regular basis that you need you know for uh, startups for then you know you can save money you don't have to spend and get a like one terabyte m.2 ssd it's not necessary um, i mean uh, for the purpose of gaming and all of that and maybe doing more yeah I don't know, having more programs that require a faster startup than sure, but yeah, it's not that necessary. Okay, and then I think we'll go with our old trusted one terabyte Western Digital hard drive, Western Digital Blue, which is quite well trusted. Um, you could also obviously opt out of buying a hard drive now but then what are you gonna I don't think you'll be able to put many programs on your system okay what was the price it was 725 and it's, is it actually on special yes okay so we're a whole 5704 ran over now um, we're not really going to be able to change much to save money so I will do two things to make a change so we'll change from the Ryzen 5 3600 to the Ryzen 3200 that we saw earlier that should save I think it was just under 2000 Rand so that'll save a good 3000 Rand and then also uh, we'll go for the uh, was it Hyper X um, eight gig memory, and we'll get two of those, and I think that would work out to about uh, one four one five. So that will save us some money. We should still be over if my initial maths are correct. Um, what page are we? Page 
Okay. Um. There we go. So. Yeah, so we can get two Hyper X Fury Black. So we're going to take this. And we'll change this so it'll do a formula thing. So it's going to be 785 times 2. Alright. So, ready? Save some money. Um, so, we're getting two of these to make 16 gigs. And we're going to change the CPU to the 3200G. So, I guess a smarter person, I'll say that now, um, would be able to build a probably more budget Intel system. Um, but as an AMD fan, I'm just gonna stick with my AMD. I mean, this comes with Vega graphics too, huh? Yeah. So, I mean, technically, you could just be like, I'm not gonna get a graphics card now, I'll save up. The X, the X series also come with integrated graphics, so if I'm correct. Um, so this was 1939, and I think we actually might be under our budget. Paste, and 1939. Woo! Okay. So that is probably the best we can do. So you got 1,622 Rand, so you can left over. So you can choose where you would change your components. You can also use this for fans and all of that, because I can't guarantee that this RAID Max case comes with fans. Um, so you've got, so this is quite a bit, 1,622 Rand. Um, there wasn't much pick many better pickings in terms of graphics cards so I think you would have to stick with, with the 1650 maybe upgrade the motherboard to there was an x570 that was I think 5,000 something so yes you'd be going over the 15,000 Rand budget but not by much and going with an x570 is probably better in the long run than going with the b450 um, just in terms of compatibility and uh, all those kind of aspects so thanks guys for watching uh, if you like this this thing this series I guess has gotten the most views out of all my series it's I don't know just doing so well so I'll continue doing these especially when lockdown is over um, Please, yeah, hit the like button to let me know that I must continue doing these. Um, and comment if there's any uh, thing that I might have left out or maybe something else I should take into uh, thought when looking at building these systems. I mean, I don't think using a GTX 1650 Super is actually that bad. Um, Yeah, I should actually run these through user benchmark. I'll put the, the scores for this system from user benchmark. I'll put it in the description um, along with the components that I've used. Um, yeah, so also hit the subscribe button um, to be notified when there's more stuff being uploaded. Um, I'm looking to doing some Yu-Gi-Oh! related content so stay tuned for that that you know that's me trying different content like I like to do and I'll see you guys next time cheers